Welcome one and all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. And well, folks, we've been waiting a long time. We have been waiting with bated breath, and it's finally happened. The thing we've all been waiting for, a Republican finally read the Mueller report. <laughs> The reader in question is Michigan congressman and guy you're pretty sure you went to high school with. <laughs> Justin Amash. This weekend, Amash read the redacted Mueller report and became the first Republican to say Trump engaged in impeachable conduct. Yeah. So. Well, well, there we go. So are. with that, I would like to offer the Republican Party this apology. Now... I know I give the GOP a hard time and often imply that you're a spineless group of self-interested toadies who'd rather see the country destroyed than stand up to an out-of-control narcissistic toddler. <laughs> I was wrong about one of you. Some say Amash uh, has now made the calls for Trump's impeachment bipartisan. Well, uh, yeah, technically. Like, technically in high school, once we had a girl at our Dungeons and Dragons party, but does it mean it was co ed? No, guys, I swear, there were a lot of girls there. Over there, evidently. Exactly zero Republicans have joined Amash in condemning Trump. Not even frequent Donald Trump critic, Utah senator and man watching in horror as mayonnaise gets mixed with ketchup. <laughs> Mitt Romney, who said this yesterday. I respect him. I think it's a courageous statement. My own view is that uh, Justin Amash has reached a different conclusion than I have. Yes, his statement is courageous, and I choose not to... Engage in courage, that, uh, <laughs> sounds kind of dangerous, frankly. <laughs> Trump fired back at Amash, tweeting, Never a fan of Justin Amash, a total lightweight who opposes me and some of our great Republican ideas and policies just for the sake of getting his name out there through controversy. This Justin Amash guy just wants to get his name out there, that name being Justin Amash. <laughs> so, and I want to be clear to all 60 million of my followers, forget the name Justin Amash. That's A-M-A-S-H, Amash, Justin Amash. He is Justin Amash, Justin Amash. He said that I was just Justin Amash. He made my ego crash, Justin Amash. Michigan representative, Justin Amash. So dumb. But if, if Trump didn't tweet about it, Amash would be a page three news story. It's like war with Iran. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, up until now, Trump has been the voice of reason on Iran. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, what's that? Sorry, I blacked out there for a second <laughs> from saying Trump and voice of reason in the same sentence. I just... <laughs> for instance, in an interview recorded on Thursday, but just uh, released yesterday, Trump said this. I'm not somebody that wants to go into war, because war hurts economies, war kills people, most importantly, by far, most importantly. Right. Yes, human life, most important thing, which is why I always say it last. <laughs> But yesterday, Trump pulled a 180, tweeting, if Iran wants to fight, that will be the end of Iran. Never threaten the United States again. All I'm saying is, give peace a chance. It's been 24 hours, fire at will. 